start. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you subscribe, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Just subscribe already. I know, I know, I know, I know I don't always post. When I say I will post, just subscribe anyway. Just do it anyway. Just do it anyway. It won't cost you a thing. Anyway, welcome back. And this is the long-awaited video that I said I would do and I was yet to do. But before that, I hope you all enjoyed the video that my friends did, the previous video that was posted before this. I'll link it again down below if you haven't. And I'm going to relink the the form, the form for the question, the questionnaire sheet. So that if you have any questions or you have something you want to talk about, you can say it in the question in the in the sheet and then I'll get to it. So today we're gonna to talk about confession. And I just wanna keep it simple and easy and just talk about I mean what I understand from like how it's been for me and encourage you to maybe explore that part of your your faith journey a little bit more so i based this on on the book of first john on the first epistle of john so one john chapter one verse nine says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness right why do I think this is important to talk about? Well, I think it's important for us to talk about this because most of the time we make it look we make it look like Christianity is all about masking everything that is wrong with you and making it look like you're such a perfect person. It's not if you ask me, Christianity is not about you trying to achieve your own perfection because if you were up to you you wouldn't be able to there's certain things you can't do for yourself see i always say that um you will always need somebody for as long as you cannot see your back you know even if you went um if you stood in front of a mirror you have to turn a lot to really see your back that alone is testament enough that we are so limited so you can't even rely on your own self to make yourself completely perfect right and all that to say that every single christian myself included has fallen in some way continues to fall over and over again we continue to do things we told god we wouldn't do you know we find ourselves in that place every now and then and i think speaking from experience i think the worst thing we could ever do is stay in that place and hide whatever it is we have committed right and walk out pretending that everything is okay or that you know we don't do such things or we never fall or we never get tempted i feel like that's the worst thing we could ever do because it's like you're chaining your own self you're making yourself a prisoner of yourself you're you're chaining yourself to things you cannot unchain yourself to and um what I feel we should do instead of that is to come clean about it. I'm not asking you to tell maybe like a close friend. You might not be comfortable with that. If you are, then go ahead. If you're comfortable with talking to your pastor, go ahead. But then come clean to God about it. I'm talking about the things that make you feel less of a Christian. Those things that maybe you did or you do and you feel like if you ever told somebody this they would think Eesh, my guy, you're not a Christian or I don't want to hang out with you or you're no longer invited to our church those kind of things those kind of hidden things that you do in the dark right those things you need to talk about them stop keeping quiet about them stop hiding them because the truth is you're not really hiding anything you know, you might hide it from men, you might hide it from your closest friends, but you can't hide it from God. You know, you might as well just tell him because there's nothing that he doesn't know. Whatever you've done, he knows it. He saw you doing it. So the best thing you can do, surely, honestly speaking, is tell him. And the thing is, he promises not to condemn you. See, we fall short as human beings. Obviously, if 
you know, I might say, oh, if you tell me, I won't condemn you. But maybe deep down in my heart, I'll be thinking, mm, this person, how could they do that kind of thing, you know? But Jesus promises not to condemn. If we take the example of the adulterous woman, they brought her to Jesus. And Jesus wrote down these people's sins on the ground and asked them, if you, if you think you're such a saint, cast the first stone. And there was nobody to cast a stone. And what did Jesus tell her? Go. There's, you know, Jesus asked, is there anybody to condemn you? Something along those lines. And then Jesus says, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. See, by you confessing your troubles and your sins to God, Number one, you're not telling him anything new. Number two, you're not doing him a favor. You're basically just giving him a chance to liberate you from that thing that you're struggling with. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. Even if you keep falling onto the same sin ten times, you go and tell God, God, it's me again. I did it again, again and again and again. Please, help me not to do it. You can hide it from anybody you want, but I'm encouraging you today. Confess, confess, confess. Trust me, it liberates you. It liberates you so, so much. And First John 1 verse 9 has already promised us that if we confess our sins, it is faithful and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness so the only way for you to get out of that trap and to be fully purified is by you confessing that sin go on your knees today tonight and just tell god trust me you don't be scared just do it just be very honest keep practicing until you reach that level whereby you can be honest with god about anything any kind of temptation that will come your way you will tell god it happened or uh, I couldn't control myself or you know any single thing train yourself to reach that level where you're constantly telling God the ins and outs of your life and telling him everything that you're struggling with because that's the job of Jesus to rescue you to save you he's your high priest the doctor won't know what they're treating in you or they won't treat you unless you let them treat you unless you tell them the signs and the symptoms that you have so go to God and let him do his perfect work in you. That's what this video has been about. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you think this video and the other videos on this channel can help a friend, please feel free to share it with them and ask them to subscribe as well so that they don't miss any content. And thank you. Bye.